<sighs> All right, uh, let's review this bottle of whiskey tonight. This fine evening. It's. I just want to and go home. Just LeBron them. A Jacques Daniels. A single barrel. <laughs> Special release. A barrel of proof ride. 2020 limited edition. You're a patron, you know why. I was. Chum's weeping. Weeping tears of joy. <laughs> but today, we drank a little Jack Daniels. No, I already told him. Barrel proof. Rah. Yeah. Whiskey. Special release 2020. This is the heritage. Oh, that was the worst, wasn't it? What the f It wasn't <laughs> any better. Oh. <laughs> Just. Okay, <laughs> so this is the, they didn't do a heritage this year, right? Or did they? Oh, you're the most outrageous. Okay, bro, oh. what is happening in my nose holes? Okay, so I believe. That dust up is Luke. I don't even know where we're at in this video, but. We I, just poured this. I, I believe this oh, took the place of this. Yeah, that's supposed to be the heritage. Which I love the spin on the idea of like, let's just. Because we love. Oh, I love it. I like it more than you, but we both like heritage a lot. It's okay. Oh, wow, well, you can't even say you like it a lot. What? I didn't even say it was our favorite thing. <laughs> I just said a lot, and you said it's all. You it's couldn't even agree with you like it a lot. Really good. You know, I'm you gonna, I'm gonna have to leave it alone. So, anyways, <laughs> I love the Heritage bottles. This taking the place. I like. I didn't realize the Heritage was gonna be their limited release. I thought it was always this whiskey every year. I like that they changed it to a rye. Master's collection, basically. Yeah, but in a hey, better way, more successful. <laughs> Dude, this... Jack Daniels knows how to put out a limited. I'm going to be honest right now. Super sweet. This it's reminds, so sweet. Reminds me of the old Forster Rye dialed up to 10. With way more proof. Yeah. Way richer on the nose. But I think it almost tastes... To or smells toasted. Mm -hmm. It almost has like this weird, like uh, like almost finished like a, second barrel yeah. note to it. Come it's to right find out front. it is. It's, it's all that uh, toasted sweetness like up front. There's caramel. A nice light oat that carries through. And the entire thing. And I really, really have learned to enjoy the addition of oak into rye. Yes. It's something that most rye aren't ultra aged or uh, have a lot of that oak impartment of that right. flavor. So when you get it in there, I really enjoy it. Yeah, it is a nice addition because rye is more expensive and rye just got more popular very like within the past, what, two years? Probably three. Oh, yeah. I mean, last year was year of the rye. Like, right. Everyone, but so, yeah. I mean, that means they started making it like Four years ago, maybe. At least. Most most available rye are around four to five years. Okay, hear me out. I get this nice pink bubble gum on the nose. So there, it is so sweet, it's wild. Specifically, Big League Chew. I get a ton of marshmallow or vanilla, one of the two on the nose. I'm getting down with vanilla. So I almost feel like I get, I, I say marshmallow because I feel like it's vanilla with that dust that's on a marshmallow. I don't know what the- It's that toasted note in there. Like it's, that's the yeah. marshmallow. And it's so, it's, it's warm, it's sweet. Mm. And I love it. I'm a humongous fan of the nose of this whiskey. A lot of people have been telling us this thing's ridiculous. There's a lot of hype around this bottle right now. Yeah. What's not to love about it? It's so, it smells incredible. Baking spices. A little green, um, like earthiness, like a forest. Like a twig? Like a, like a twig, in a way. Some, some would Medicine. say twig, some would say, what, what did you say? Sprig. That's a measurement. Bro, no, it's for sure not. Somebody tell me in the comments below how wrong Sean is. I think it smells a little bit like chocolate. I get that foresty. Bro, there's something special and warm and like soul healing about a forest note, right? Cause it's not just a pine. Talking like it's not just a tree, you're right? You're talking damp forest. Yeah. It's dewy. Oh, it's just crisp it's morning. fresh. Yes, dude. And it's that. I don't get it. <laughs> I was so fucking happy. <laughs> and my dream just. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I know what you're saying. There's um, a weird earthiness. I call them call it earthiness. It's not but the, it... like the mossiness. No. Um, forest floor. Nope. It, there's like a, a an actual crispness. There's to a it. fresh outdoor air like in the woods, not in a city. <laughs> I. It might be honestly. <laughs> I might just kind of give in. I should just go get time and smell it. But the longer this sits here in the glen, though, the more like molasses I keep yeah. getting out of it. It's a really rich, nice dark sugar, dark sugared sweetness, like a like a like a toasted caramel or something like that, with the vanilla of the marshmallow. 
It's so good. It's so fantastic. That pink bubble gum comes through perfect. Chocolate. It's sweet, it's spicy. It's got that lingering oat chocolate. Baking spices. That might be the one of the best balanced tickles, rice I've had in a minute. Tickles the top of my, my mouth yeah, just perfect. The right amount. Yeah. It lets you know you're having a drink. Yeah. But it's it doesn't blow you proof. up. Okay, that's Remember wild. that. I didn't know. I was going to say it's 130 proof, so it doesn't drink that hot. This has those weird, sweet notes that some of the Jack Daniels and Brown Foreman stuff have. But they kind of like added like a nice subtle spice to it to balance it out. It's fantastic, like, man. What's I feel your... like it's got it. You, you have to give it a scotch treatment. You just sit there and smell it over and over. Forever. And then you just keep finding yeah. more and more things that are put behind the proof and the spice and like you get down My to those gosh. like nice stewed fruits Damn. i never thought so last year i didn't think parker's heritage rye would be our winner okay right this year when they said this came out i'm like cool man i'm, I'm interested but i'm not like excited this was easily the, I, in my mind right now this is top two rise i've had this year uh price 65 let's call i don't let's call it 80 just for the sake of video a plus yeah a plus 100 a plus i really think it's in contention for rye of the year a, a plus, plus 14, 70, 100,000, kajillion four, seven Q. Would have been a super easy review if you weren't <sighs> tracks, you know. Hey, are you happy they switched to rye? Yes. You like the rye way more? 100%. I think this beats the brakes off of the heritage. You know what I wish they'd do though, now? Now that this is a thing, okay. can they do both? No, okay. Because I would miss this if it was gone forever. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Jack like, and um, Daniel. Subscribe. Great job. War of the Bourbon Junkies. Patreon, YouTube, Instagram. The proof's in the pork. Whatever. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs>